Welcome back to Why in the Morning. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry on Social Media, and this is Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning, as I said. So our social media and handles are always right there below the screen. White Five Four channel on Twitter, White Five Four underscore channel on Instagram, and White Five Four on Facebook. So this is that place that mentorship means beats opportunity. And we have Mr. Vindambu himself from Ambigen Limited, uh, which is a mentorship program, here to share his story and other stories with us. Karibu san. Thank you so much. All right, your camera is number four. Uh, just introduce yourself, just in case I left out anything. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, my name is Sam Bidambu, and mm -hmm. uh, I am the CEO of Ambigen Limited, and I'm also the president of another organization called Global Mentorship Program, where we do mentorship programs in high schools and mm -hmm. colleges. Right. And uh, I'm also an upcoming author. An upcoming author. Yeah. You don't have a published book yet. I it's I have published process. some, but uh, uh -huh. they're, they're they're not really big like uh -huh. as, as I would want them to be. I cannot call it, I, cannot, I cannot call them books yet. All right. Can uh, we yeah. find them online? Just to yeah, see. You can. You can. To get a peek of them. You can. You All can. right. On Amazon. Pardon? Uh, you no, not really, not, not really on Amazon. Not uh -huh. really on Amazon yet. But uh, the one that I'm working on is will be out very soon. All right, you'll share yeah. that with us. Yeah. Uh, but yes, Karibu sana kwenye wine in the morning. Thank you. And thank you very much for finding time to come and uh, share this with us. Thank you for having me. I know you have another place to be, but we'll make it first. Yeah, uh, so, uh, mentorship is your home court, but you didn't start like this. You actually went to campus to study another thing, right? Maybe you can share that with us. Uh, uh, I was in Delan Kimati University in Nyeri. Uh -huh. I did Bachelor of Commerce, mm -hmm. like graduates. Uh, but uh, after finishing campus, I was lucky mm -hmm. enough. Uh, just like a few people who finish campus, you know, right now we have these causes of unemployment and all that. Mm -hmm. I got employed somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, I w was earning some good money, mm -hmm. but I was not really fulfilled. Mm -hmm. I was never happy at work. All right. You know, the eight to five and all that, mm -hmm. I wasn't really happy. Mm -hmm. So I had to quit my work. Mm -hmm. Uh, this dates back to my background. Mm -hmm. I am born in a very poor background, mm -hmm. poor family. Mm -hmm. My dad is a carpenter, mm -hmm. mom housewife, mm -hmm. you know, living below one dollar per day Baby when we were growing up and all that mm -hmm. with my four sisters. So after finishing campus and getting that employment, I was not really happy. I wanted to go back mm -hmm. to the site to bring back to them. Mm -hmm. And that's where the mentorship came in. Right. So I thought about helping people, not to mm -hmm. go through what I went through when I was young. All right. you know, so that's what This must have been, been a huge risk for you. Um, guessing you're coming from a humble background. Uh, you were your parents have invested everything they had in you to go to school. And then you get a job. And then you decide you're going to... To, to resign from the job. This was a big risk for you. Uh, did you seek any advice before you resigned from your work? Actually, I remember the first time I told my mom that I was mm -hmm. going to quit my job. Mm -hmm. My mom was like, are you mad, Sam? Are you mad? Mm -hmm. But I told them, I explained to them, but they could not understand. Mm -hmm. But after then, they came to understand mm -hmm. after seeing the fruits of, of mentorship and all mm -hmm. that. All so right. I, d I cannot say that I really seek, I, I really sought any advice from anybody because mm -hmm. it was from me. Even if came I from got, your gut. even if I got advice <laughs> from somebody and they told me no, don't uh -huh. do it, I could still go ahead and do it. I was, right. I was not really happy. How was it like the first number, the first three months after quitting, or first four months? I can't say that they were tough. Mm -hmm. Even if they were tough, they were not really tough for me because mm -hmm. I was happy now. Mm -hmm. My happiness came. Right. Because for me, I like helping people. Mm -hmm. I like mentoring people. I like helping people achieve their dreams in life. Mm -hmm. Because for me right now, I'm achieving my dream because I was born to mentor. Mm -hmm. I was born to lead. I was born to help people achieve their dreams. You were born so to impact lives. I was born to impact lives and mm -hmm. to be a significant. For me, I don't seek success. Mm -hmm. I seek significance. Significance. I don't seek success. Which is the word of the day right there. Significance is the word of the day. Remember, mm -hmm. we are on Facebook at y 254 And Facebook is the place of concern today because we have a question there. And the question is, have you ever bought anything online? And uh, what was the result of what you, were you happy as a consumer? Uh, so head straight to our Facebook so we can get your feedback. We'll be sampling them towards the end of the show. Uh, so significance is the word. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to know, uh, how does Ambigen Limited come around? Now, Ambigen Limited is, uh, it was my first organization. It's mm -hmm. actually a company, right? It was my first organization which I formed really after mm -hmm. quitting my job. Because now, the, the Global Mentorship Program is an affiliate of Ambigen Limited. Mm -hmm. That's where everything happens mm -hmm. in the organization. That is where you started. That's where I started. Mm -hmm. Then the Global Mentorship Network, that's where we do the programs of mentorship and all that in schools. Mm -hmm. We done mentorship programs in very many schools, mm -hmm. high schools and mm -hmm. also colleges. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's basically what we do. Mentorship is everything. Mentorship is everything. It's very important. All right, so two things uh, exist in this, in this sphere right here. Mentorship 
and opportunity. Opportunity mm. is lacking, mentorship is there. Uh, so youths will say, or critics will say, uh, too many mentors, not enough opportunities. What would you say about that? I cannot say that we have too very many mentors. Uh -huh. Mentors in Kenya are very few. Mm -hmm. A role model is not a mentor. Mm -hmm. A role model is not a mentor. Mm -hmm. And just, just because somebody is a public figure doesn't mm -hmm. mean that they are your mentors. Mm -hmm. you know? A mentor will be somebody who grows with you in your journey of success. Mm -hmm. They should be always be there with you. Mm -hmm. Like maybe I should give you an example of our mentorship programs in high schools. Mm -hmm. We are always there. We go to these schools every week. We meet these students one on one. Mm -hmm. That's what mentorship is all about. Mm -hmm. It should be a process right. so that you can monitor their progress. Mm -hmm. So you cannot say that there are no no, no there, there are very few mentors, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but all models are there. They are, they are very Role many. models are there. Yeah. What about the opportunity part? Uh, people will say uh, there are not so many opportunities in this country right now as we speak, uh, but mentors will tell you, go for what you want, go out there and conquer the world, but the opportunities are lacking, and that's a fact. Opportunities are not lacking. Mm -hmm. That's why before we went online, I was, t I was, I was uh, telling you that uh, in Kenya, mm -hmm. many youths, start businesses. Mm -hmm. They don't solve problems. Mm -hmm. That's why they say that there are no opportunities. Opportunities mm -hmm. are there. Mm -hmm. Very many. You know? Everybody in this world was born to do something. Mm -hmm. We can't all of us be self-employed. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. Not all of us can be self-employed. Mm -hmm. That's true. Not all of us are leaders. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. oh, not all of us are leaders. No, no, no. That one. Mm -hmm. All of us are leaders. But all of us cannot be self-employed. You know? Uh -huh. Actually, the truth is all of us are employed. Even if you're self-employed, you're employed. Uh -huh. Because the word employment, what does it mean? You're working. You're working. Uh -huh. So all of us are employed, even if you're unemployed, self-employed, or anything. So mm -hmm. opportunities are there. Mm -hmm. It's you to go for them. And that's, why, that's, for them. that's why I was telling you about the solving a problem. Mm -hmm. Opportunities is a, opportunity lies in the problem. Mm -hmm. If somebody so is, for every problem lies a, lies an opportunity. If somebody is outside there mm -hmm. and they are broke, mm -hmm. it means they're not solving any problem. Mm -hmm. Money is given as a result of solving somebody's problem. All right. So if you are, if you are broke. You're not solving anything in this world. All right, so what you're trying to tell me, the secret is not, into, is not getting into business. The secret is finding a problem, solving yeah. the problem, yeah, yeah. and that becomes a business. That becomes a business. From the problem, from mm -hmm. the solving of the problem, you get something from it. You get something Just from like it. Just like us, we do mentorship. Uh -huh. yeah? that, that, we help people achieve their dreams. Mm -hmm. Problem is them achieving their dreams. Mm -hmm. So we help them achieve their dreams. Uh -huh. Then from that, we earn something. So that is how you form your business. So yeah. the secret in business in, is in solving problems. Whenever, as, a, as an entrepreneur, Whenever mm -hmm. we see a problem, mm -hmm. see an opportunity there. See an opportunity see there. An opportunity. When all you right. see garbage all over, all, over, all over Nairobi, see an uh -huh. opportunity in that garbage. When so you see crime in Nairobi, see an opportunity in the crime. Mm -hmm. yeah. all right. Even in crime, there's opportunity. Yeah, yeah there's opportunity. Right. Because it's a problem. It's a, it's a problem for us. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. Remember, we are on social media. They're always right there below the screen. Uh, we are looking forward to your feedback uh, so we can sample them towards the end of the show. All right. I remember in, uh, in high school, uh, we used to get mentors coming around, and uh, most of us were not even uh, paying attention, mm. let alone interested yeah, yeah, in yeah. what was going on yeah. over there. Mm. Uh, so how do you manage to, to, to get the attention of 16-year-olds and 17-year-olds? Uh, first of all, we are not motivational speakers, mm -hmm. we are mentors. Mm -hmm. That is the difference. Mm -hmm. A motivational speaker comes there and tells you, work hard, never give up. We're used to those things. Uh -huh. Why are you telling me to work hard? Uh -huh. I know I should work hard. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So you come here, speak for one and a half hours, two hours, telling me work hard, never give up, uh -huh. make a timetable. You don't even tell me how to make a timetable. Uh -huh. So that's why I get bored. Uh -huh. I can't continue listening to you. That's but why we were getting bored, for sure. Yeah, even me, uh -huh. I was getting bored those days. <laughs> right. But for us, we don't motivate them. Mm -hmm. The students suffer from something called motivational dip. Mm -hmm. You motivate me, next two hours I am out of the motivational <laughs> something that you told me, you know? It's called the motivational deep. So we don't, we don't really go mo the motivational side. Right. Actually, if you motivate a fool, you, go mm -hmm. to, you get a motivated fool, mm -hmm. you know? So we don't okay, like, we, feel don't, that. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't do motiv motivational mm -hmm. things, we do mentorship, mentorship. one on one. All right, yeah. so you need to get this particular person out of their man mindset first, if it was a wrong mindset. Uh, for that matter, and before you get to motivate them, yeah, yeah you don't yeah. want motivated fools <laughs> in the you, you, don't, you don't want to get motivated fools. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, uh, at Ambigen, what are some of the things in your mandate as Ambigen? Uh, we do sales trainings. Mm -hmm. Actually, our organization is all about uh, services. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't have a product that mm -hmm. you can see and all that. Mm -hmm. We offer human resource services. Mm -hmm. We also do sales trainings in other companies. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what we do at Ambigen Limited. And then uh, the mentorship now comes in. But what we do mostly is mentorship. We do, we do a lot of mentorship. Just all like right. I was telling you from here, I'm heading to Embu, mm -hmm. a school called Chicago Girls. Uh -huh. 
you know, yeah. So we, we run these mentorship programs in high what school. What is the name of the school again? Siakago Girls. Sia? Siakago Girls. Siakago Girls. Inambu. See you, Siakago Girls, <laughs> in a few. <laughs> yeah. This gentleman will be joining you. All right, so uh, uh, in, 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 in your own words, in a few words uh, for that matter, uh, what, how would you, what would you say is the difference between motivation and mentorship? Motivation is a short-term thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like I come and speak to you for one hour, 30 mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. But mentorship is a long-term thing. Mm -hmm. Like our mentorship programs in school run the whole year. Mm -hmm. We should meet the students every week. Mm -hmm. We must meet them. We must, not we should, we must. Mm -hmm. That's what mentorship is all about. We mm -hmm. want to be with them in this journey. We want to see their progress. Mm -hmm. Motivation, you come just and speak to me and then go, I'll never see you again. Mm -hmm. They just motivated me for 30 minutes and went. So motivation is, is, a, is a temporary thing. It's a short-term thing. Mm -hmm. uh, mentorship is a, is, is a long-term thing. And motivation it's never a process. works. Motivation never works. Motivation never works. No, you'll never see somebody telling you, I, I got an A in KCAC because somebody motivated me. Never. Uh -huh. yeah. But you get somebody saying, uh, we won that game because we, we got a very good pep talk from the coach. That's now the difference. Yes. Uh, from the coach. That is that, you're talking about a game, maybe football. Yes. They were motivated before they went to play. That yeah. was like two minutes before they went to play. Yeah. Now you're seeing they're still, they, they still have that motivation. Yes. But now somebody comes here. This is first time. This is uh -huh. January. You're motivating me to work cases in December. Will I still be having All that I'm saying is, uh, we can't say motivation doesn't work. It doesn't. But I, it works in some cases. We just add a case scenario. Uh, if if, if uh, in a game, in a game it works mm -hmm. because somebody is motivated before they go to work. Mm -hmm. You know. But okay, what I'm saying is this: mm -hmm. it should be even if it's, it it should be motivational mentorship in a oh, way. All right. You know, like uh, you're mentoring me, but uh -huh. you're motivating me every time. So it all should right. be long term. It should be long term. But if you just men if you just motivate me once, uh -huh. it will never work. All right. So motivation should work hand in hand with mentorship. Yeah, they that's what be. you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wonderful. All right. So uh, as a person in business, as much as you mentor people, uh, Ambigen uh, Limited is uh, is a business mm -hmm. with a structure, mm -hmm. and it, it's run like any other, other business. Way, yeah. uh, you've come a long way. Uh, running this business, how big is the is 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 the business so far, uh, uh, as per human resource? We have twelve. Mm -hmm. We have twelve employees in our organization who are really doing well. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, I like I like making leaders mm -hmm. because everybody in this world is a leader. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't like having followers. Mm -hmm. You know, you work with me. Nobody can work with me for more than two years. Mm -hmm. Because I want you to go out there to also do your own stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to just be working with me 10 years, 12 years, 15 mm -hmm. years, you're still working under mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I want you to go and form your own team. Mm -hmm. you know? So that's what I do because I, I like mm -hmm. making leaders. All right. Yeah. So out of these 12 people, none has worked with you for more than two years. They, most of them finish campus. Uh -huh. They come work with us. Uh -huh. Two years down the line, three years down the line, they're going to form their own. All right. Yeah. Employers uh, talk about loyalty so much, yeah. and uh, I don't think you can earn that in, in less than two years. Uh, loyalty, it depends on your relationship with your employees. Mm -hmm. In fact, for me, I don't call them employees. Mm -hmm. I call them partners. Mm -hmm. They're not, they're, they're not really working for me. Mm -hmm. They're working for themselves. Mm -hmm. They're working for the other people whom we are working with because I told you you are doing services. Mm -hmm. We are helping other people. Mm -hmm. So we are partnering with them to help other people. So loyalty is always there. Loyalty so long as we are partnering, there. but if somebody, if this guy is working under you, uh -huh. nobody likes being told do this, do that, uh -huh. you know. And that is the, the area where employees tell employers. I mean, em employers tell em employees do this, go there, come, come, come before eight. If you come at eight or one, I fire you and all that. Uh -huh. We don't do that. We are partnering with people. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I need. I think you need to tell that to so many. <laughs> Employers out there, mm -hmm. uh, mine is good. Mine is good. It gives me, or she gives me, an opportunity. Uh, another thing I'd like to know: uh, what are some of the challenges you've had to for running Ambigen? Marketing. Marketing is marketing a, is the biggest challenge. Marketing is the biggest. If challenge. I don't know you, I can't do business with you. Uh -huh. I should do business with you until I know you. Mm -hmm. You know, so marketing is key. Mm -hmm. Selling and marketing. Mm -hmm. Sales. Selling comes under marketing. Uh -huh. uh, comes under after marketing. As a result like, of. Yeah, if mm -hmm. after you've marketed your product, now mm -hmm. I can I can buy it. So, so that is the biggest is, challenge, right? Marketing there. Is the but we're living challenge. in the information age. Yeah, we have true, so true, many true. platforms that that's you can true. use to market. That's you true. don't need to take an advert to your that's, television. That's true. Uh -huh. But still, it's a challenge. Again, uh -huh. all those things come with uh, finances and all that. But it's still a big challenge. It's but big. Market, market, uh, what I'm saying is, you need to be known uh -huh. as a business person. Uh -huh. For me to buy a product, uh -huh. I should know you. Uh -huh. So you need to market yourself. Uh -huh. Not everybody in Kenya is in Facebook. Uh -huh. You know, not everybody. Why? Why is it that Coca-Cola still markets itself, uh -huh. and they are a big brand? Mm -hmm. Safaricom still markets itself. It's a big brand. Mm -hmm. So marketing is key. 
marketing is key. And that is the biggest challenge you are facing mm -hmm. right there. Out of your 12 employees, I'd like to know, uh, what is the structure like? Uh, who does what? Are all of them mentors? Uh, or do you have somebody for the books? Most of them are mentors. Uh -huh. uh, we don't. I, I, I'm for the books because I did accounting. Uh -huh. I'm, a CPA, <laughs> I, I'm a CPA right now. I did uh -huh. CPA. I'm CPAK. Uh -huh. So I'm the one for the books. We, are, we have the CEO, we have the assistant, of uh -huh. course, and then we have the mentors. Uh -huh. So the mentors are the ones who really help us in everything. Okay. We, we train them to be mentors. Mm -hmm. Then they become the mentors. And of course, they'll, just like I told you, after two years, three years, they are mm -hmm. doing their own stuff. Success so we mentor stories. them also mm -hmm. to go outside and be leaders. All right. Uh, some of your success stories, if you are willing to highlight them for us. Uh, there's this student who finished um, campus mm -hmm. around three years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was really down. He came from uh, the same background which I came from mm -hmm. when I was growing up. A humble one. Like a very like to call humble, it. humble uh -huh. background. Uh, after finishing campus, he got a first class. Mm -hmm. You know, Anybody who, fin who finishes campus and gets a first class expects to get employed earning mm -hmm. six figure and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. But for him, he didn't get anything. So he was like, hey, Sam, I was like, I first class, but I uh, a job. What should I do? Come here, OK. You can do something. Uh -huh. There's something you're born in this world to do. Mm -hmm. In as much as you go to your first class, it's not really after employment that you should go for. You can do something. Mm -hmm. You can solve a problem. So he was, you know, for him, it was like, I want to start a business. I told him, don't start a business. Solve a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, his problem was, I seen a capital. I told him, man, we have four factors of production. We have land, mm -hmm. we have labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Most of the youths lack entrepreneurial part of the skills. So I told him, hey, I will be with you in this journey. He came to Nairobi. He found an organization for, uh, you know, solving this issue of garbage collection. It's a very big challenge in Nairobi right now. That was the problem. And for him, I told him, hey, you can look an opportunity in this. Right now, he's doing well. That's the success, that, that's the success uh -huh. story I have. It's a very big organization right now. All right, so you took him collection. through all these three years. And uh, that, that, at that point of disillusionment, what would you tell somebody who's watching us right now, who's, who's, who's at that face right now? They fin after finishing campus and uh, they, they think they have lost everything in yes. life. What I always tell young people is uh -huh. we live in an age of social media. Uh -huh. We live in an age of information. Uh -huh. And uh, right now, we, need a we, we live in a world of networking. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to network, you will never get anything in life. Mm -hmm. Instead of going over and looking for employment and all that, you can start something. Just mm -hmm. network. Mm -hmm. Be close to like-minded people. Mm -hmm. People who are thinking like you. People mm -hmm. who are doing the same thing that mm -hmm. you are doing. Mm -hmm. And that's where you end up doing something in a life. So networking is key. Networking is Information key. is key. key. Wonderful. We have a clip of you doing what you do best right there. Uh, so maybe you can share with us what's going on uh, this, uh, in your day to day. This was a mentorship program. I think it was uh, last year. We uh -huh. were doing some mentorship at Nyeri. Mm -hmm. This was uh, Kim Nyeri. We were talking to some students there mm -hmm. about entrepreneurship and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, we have other clips as well of you doing your thing and we'll be sharing mm -hmm. uh, the clip uh, after this interview so you can get a taste of, uh, of this gentleman doing what he does best. How can they get you, uh, get you guys on social media? Social media, Sam mm -hmm. Vidambo. Personally, they, should, they can get me on Sam Vidambo. Just look them straight into the eyes as you give them the handle. I have a Facebook page, Sam Vidambo. That's mm -hmm. where everything happens. Mm -hmm. They just get me Sam Vidambo. Then they'll get all the information about me. If they need my contacts, mm -hmm. yeah, they What about the company ones? Amgen we Limited. have the one for global mentorship program. Mm -hmm. They can also link them up. All right. The but basically, they can uh -huh. really, they, if they want anyth anything, they can go, go through me, Sam Vidambo. All Everywhere, right. Instagram, Facebook, and all that, Sam Vidambo. All right. Yeah. As, a, as a mentor, as a leader, and you said everybody is, is a leader. As mm. we wrap this up, uh, the, the, some people say the problem with Kenya is corruption. Some people say the problem with Kenya is uh, lack of faith. Uh, in God. The religious people will say that. Uh, some people will say it's lack of leadership. Uh, some people will say all sorts of things. What do you think is the problem with Kenya first? The problem with Kenya is Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. These, these, these people we call them corrupt. Where did mm -hmm. they come from? They came from us. Mm -hmm. they, are a, they are a reflection of whom we are. Mm -hmm. If they are corrupt, we it are means also corrupt. we are corrupt as well. Because they came from us. These, mm -hmm. these are the guys who elected from us. Mm -hmm. We are also corrupt. So problem they didn't come from another problem country. in Kenya is Kenyans. The problem with Kenya is Kenyans. Mm. That's the reality. The solution? The solution is Kenyans also. <laughs> we should change. You know? The solution is Kenyans. It too. is us to change. 
All right, it's not lack of leaders, it's not lack of anything, it's just us. Kenya has very many good leaders, uh -huh. but they come from us, then they go out there, because they want to be like us, uh -huh. they also become corrupt, like we are. Thank you very much for the insight, sir. Uh, where can we catch you at your next event or...? We are organizing an event, mm -hmm. so they can just follow me on Facebook, mm -hmm. Sam Vidambu, they can like my Facebook page, mm -hmm. then they'll get anything, everything from there. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Sam Vidambo. Uh, we appreciate you. All the best in your endeavors, and thank you very much for what you're doing thank you so uh, much. for the youth. Thank and you with so the youth much for having me today. in this country. Mm -hmm. All right, we have come to the end of this. Uh, so uh, right up next, we, are, we have a clip of Sam Vidambo uh, doing his thing out there. But remember, we have a question on Facebook. That is, uh, have you ever bought anything online, and were you satisfied with what you got? Head straight to our Facebook, so because we have a special place in our hearts for everybody who sends their feedback. Our way, we'll be sampling them uh, to the end of the show. Don't touch that dial. Don't go nowhere.